we're going to have a look at rigging our shirt. So I'm just going to unhide the skeleton now. Now I obviously have Avastar uh, connected, so the first thing I'll do is I'll show you how to rig using Avastar. So all you need to do is you have your shirt selected, you select your shirt and then you shift and right click on the skeleton. You don't need to, to shift and right click on any of the mesh objects, just a skeleton, your object and then the skeleton. And then you go over here to the Avastar menu and you scroll down to where it says skinning. And there's an option bind to armature. Now what we can do is, there's two ways of doing this. We can choose to have automatic weight, which means the mesh body is already rigged to the skeleton and it moves with the skeleton. So all the weighting is already done on the mesh body. Now, if we choose weight from meshes, it means it gets a rough approximation from the mesh body and it applies it onto our top. So if the mesh body has most of the weighting for the wrist over here, it will apply whatever the closest part of the mesh body is to our shirt, it will apply the same weighting. Now it's fairly good, but if you have like some fancy like ruffly collars or anything, I've found that it tends to glitch out and it'll grab onto like waiting for like eyeballs and things like that, which means when the head moves, your shirt pulls with your head, which is not exactly what you want. So to be honest, I always wait with empties, which means I don't carry any automatic waiting already on. I paint all my waiting on from scratch. Now, I'm not sure if that makes sense to a lot of you if you haven't ever looked at rigging before or you haven't watched any other tutorials. So I'll just go through and I'll show you what I mean. So now that I've selected empties, I'm going to click bind to armature. So just click the bind to armature button. And now our mesh top is connected to our skeleton. So if we go into pose mode on our skeleton, we can move our skeleton. Rotate Z. Now the mesh body moves with it, but our top doesn't yet because we haven't painted any weights on our top. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the weight painting. So we want to go select our top and go into weight paint mode. Okay. So in weight paint mode, we want to go to this panel over here, which is our data panel and it shows all our vertex groups. So now previous to rigging to the skeleton, this would have all been empty. Now we have a bunch of vertex groups for all the different bones in the body. So I just want to quickly go through the bones so you can have an idea of where they all sit. So on, this, on the arm over here, we have wrist right, and obviously on the opposite side is wrist left. We have elbow right, shoulder right, collar right. In the top here we have the chest, the torso, the pelvis bone, and then we have left and right hips, left and right knees, and left and right ankle points. Alright, so to rig our shirt, we want to tell the shirt to be assigned to these certain points and to move with it. So we want this part of our shirt to move with the wrist, and this part of our shirt to move with this part of the arm, and this part of the shirt to move with this part of the arm. Okay, so first let's do the chest. Okay, so we're going to rig this top part to the chest. Now the button I showed you before in edit mode is also here in weight paint mode. And if you see that it's like a darker grey, that means it's off, and the lighter grey means that it's on. I always turn it on because what it means is that you can paint directly through the top. So we're going to go up here to our tools menu and we can see we've got a different set of brushes now. So what I want to choose is my add brush because I want to add some paint on. Okay. So with, this, I call it paint through, but it's limit selection to visible. I have my paint through tool turned on. I'm just going to show you, we're just going to switch it off, toggle it off so I can show you the difference. Now over here in the vertex groups, you want to make sure you choose the chest option because we want to paint for assigning to the chest, the chest bone. Okay. So if I start painting on here, you can see the paint start to go on. And it's 
kind of gone through to the back because it's gone through the mesh body and uh, from the neck over there, but it's not down here. Okay, now we're just going to undo those and we're going to turn this on. And if we turn it on and we paint again, you'll see it goes all the way through to the back. Okay, it's going to undo that. So what I like to do is I like to line up roughly in the middle of these two loops. And then I'm just going to paint the chest area like this. Just paint a little bit more. Okay, so it's nice and evenly through. And then I want to move down to the torso ring. So I'm going to go over here and change to torso. And you'll see our paint disappears because now we're painting for the torso. So this is the torso loop. We want to come down so we're evenly with the torso loop in between all three. And I'm just going to paint across along the torso area. Okay. And the next one we want to do is for the hips. So I'm going to come down till the hip bone is in line like this. Oh, the pelvis. Sorry, not the hips. Pelvis. And then we just want to paint across here. Okay. Now if we go and try and pose these. So at the moment we have the chest one selected. And if I go and rotate that you'll see now our top kind of moves with it but it's it's very it's very rough there's like a big jagged bend in there and it's not very nice so I'm just gonna press alt R to reset that back to the base pose mode so what we want to do to make that a bit smoother is we want to blur out these sections so again make sure you're lined up correctly and then we've got our blur brush we just want to turn the strength down a little bit, 0.7 is a little bit high. <laughs> and then we just want to blur. What this does is it, it blurs out the, the brush so it's going to be nice and smooth. And then we choose our torso and we blur that upwards. So it's slightly overlapping the weight painting. So now when we rotate, it's a lot smoother. Okay, so the, the join between those two places is a lot smoother now. Okay, and we want to do the same down the bottom here. So we just want to blur it out. We'll choose our pelvis. Blur it up. We just want to blur upwards. And as you can see, this is all going evenly along the back as well. Okay. Now if we join this point, rotate, bend evenly, and rotate. Now there's still a bit of pull, so what we can do is we can blur down even more. A bit uneven there, let's rotate properly. So we want to rotate on the x-axis. Okay, so you can see we've got a bit of a pull there still. So we go to our chest, we go down here and we can blur it down even more. That's nice and smooth, okay? And just switch between them and just blur until you're happy. And this is what takes the most time with rigging, is the weight paintings, everything bends nice and smoothly. Okay, we'll switch back to our pelvis point. And we'll blur that up a little bit more. So now you can see when we bend, it's a lot smoother, okay? I think the torso point needs to be blurred up a little bit more here. Okay. Alrighty, that's good. And we'll rotate back the other way. Now it's clipping in a little bit there. So what we want to do is we want to, because it's clipping in, we want to just assign this area a bit more to the chest. So we want to go, make sure we've got torso selected. We want to remove some of the weighting from here. So we're going to go subtract. I want to put it really low because I just want to do it very gently. Okay, just remove it off. Then I want to switch to blur. Now I only want to adjust for this side because the other side is fine. So I'm going to turn off my paint through tool and I'm just going to blur just on the back here. Now again down here we can see that it's pulling in a little bit and that's actually the pelvis pulling it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit more weighting to the torso area. So again I'm going to turn my brush down low because I just want to do it 
gently, a little bit at a time, and add that in so we don't have that pulling in through the body. Okay, and I'm just going to blur that out, which means it probably will pull in a little bit again. But we'll just add and blur until we have it nice. Okay, so everything's nice and smoothly. Okay, 